CATS Maine has been continuously progressing in terms of providing a clean, safe, and child-friendly learning environment as it faithfully abides most especially by the institution's value of makakalikasan or pro-environment, the vision of producing graduates that contribute meaningfully to nation building, and the mission of promoting basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, safe, and motivating environment. CATS is committed to create, promote, and strengthen environmental protection and sustainability through the combined efforts of the school and its stakeholders. Towards this goal, the school have been doing recycling, resource conservation, zero waste campaign, and eco-curriculum integration. As such, the school led by Mrs. Aphrodite Adita Odizon in our efforts to be an eco-friendly school established the Ecological Solid Waste Management Committee headed by Mr. Fernando C. Altaris Jr. assisted by Ms. Celeste D. Suarez. The said committee had its vision to build a community of school administrators, teachers, students, and stakeholders who work collaboratively towards a productive, clean, safe, and child-friendly learning institution which promotes the full implementation of proper waste management and greening programs and has a mission to optimize and mobilize the human and material resources to attain the objectives of the environment and solid waste management program for school and community development. Um, Dr. Um, Dr. Um, what is your vision for regarding uh, school waste management my vision for our school that has something to do with um, solid waste management is that we will be recognized as one of the best schools in the program. And of course, we cannot achieve this if our students will not participate. I wanted to be led by your group, the waste segregation warrior group, if that is how it is called. Well, um, it should start from you as leaders of the school and as part of the organization. In order to carry out the vision and mission of the school on ecological and solid waste management, it has been partnering with various organizations and institutions. As such, the school established the Echo Club, composed of students from different grade levels as advised by Mrs. Elisa A. Monte. The school has also been tapping different government institutions to aid us in the implementation of our programs. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Office Tarlac or DENR Penro Tarlac is one of our constant partners in our endeavor to effect change in our learning environment. Also, the Department of Agriculture, Tarlac City, D8 Tarlac City has always been with us for our greening programs. The Barangay Council of Central and Mabilog are also been very supportive in our plans to provide better school environment for our students. The administration is very much important also in achieving your goal. And um, yes, of course, led by your focal person in waste management, that is uh, in the person of Sir Fernando and Ma'am Celeste Suarez in the junior high school. So with this, our students should uh, always cooperate with the youth, with the administration. And uh, this goal, of course, will not be achieved with, with, without our cooperation as by giving our individual efforts. So it is not actually a one-man crusade. It is a, an effort that is to be done not by only one person, but it should be done by everybody. Through the help of our supportive and generous partners, the school has been implementing various programs and activities as part of its initiative to better the state of cleanliness and effectiveness of resource conservation. The school campaigns on the integration of environment themes in the curriculum to better instill to students its importance. 
Here, the use of environment-related themes are being fused in the teaching learning process as evidence in the daily lesson logs of the teachers. Also, we developed six modules for this campaign to be taught in the ICL or Independent Cooperative Learning. Two of the said modules are on effective waste management, one is on resource conservation, one is on sustainable development, and two for disaster preparedness. Una una, uh, pag kuya, bearing school head ng school lang ito, ang sa'yo di uh, high school, ikakaroon kami ng tinatawag na advocacy na yun ay patungkol sa mga uh, school way, uh, waste management ng ating eskwelahan. At meron tayong tinatawag na focal person na si Sir Altares na nagbibigay siya ng mga advocacy sa mga bata na kung saan ito ang ginagamit nila para uh, malunasan yung mga dapat gawin dito sa ating parlan at matuto sila ng mga dapat uh, gawin. No? Kaya makikita po natin dito sa ating eskulahan na wala tayong nakikitang uh, kalat-kalat na mga papel at mga plastic kasi they are oriented already with regards to the segregation ng ating mga uh, basura. Pangalawa, yung nakikita natin na mga, na mga damo o dinigaya yung mga dahon, yan ang ginalagay natin dun sa ating uh, compost heap. Tapos, yan ay kanilang ilalatag, ilalagyan na lang uh, toppings, na, 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 na lupa at dinitiligan after how many months yan ang ginagawa nating uh, fertilizer dun sa mga halaman na itinatanim natin at mapapansin din ninyo yung ating mga halaman ay uh, lumalaki at nagiging malusog sa pamamagitan ng ginagamit namin na organic fertilizer Our top priority program is focused on waste management such as proper waste segregation through the use of standard labeled waste bins as per RA9003 which are distributed strategically throughout the campus and on every classroom. Use of compost heaps and pits are also being used in the school in support of the campaign on effective waste segregation. This is where students dispose their compostable wastes that are generated and collected in their trash bins. The collected recyclables are being brought to either of the two material recovery facilities in the senior high school and junior high school departments. From the MRF, selling of collective recyclables is done to generate funds. Recycling of waste materials are also being encouraged and done in the school. Posters and signages are also well placed in different areas in the school. This signage are written both in English, Filipino, and Kapampang, the local language of most CATS learners to better assure that the message and information are well understood by students. Project LEGO was then initiated especially in the school canteen to further promote the value of waste management to students. These programs and projects of the school have been regularly monitored to sustain its efficiency and continuous implementation. From this, we are able to make the school a styrofoam-free and less plastic campus since 2018.
have also been exerting efforts to conserve our resource, paper, energy, and water. There are now paper conservation trays, the use of clean back paper for school-based documents, and the use of technology for efficient paper consumption. Signage and posters on energy conservation are also being posted in every rooms and other strategic locations in the school. The imposition of no mobile devices during class hours have also been done to further discuss. Ultimately, we have been practicing hashtag earth power where we regularly shut down power for 30 minutes every month. Water resources are also being conserved. Rainwater is also collected and used to water the plants for the Gulayansa Parallel Program through the rainwater harvesting facility. Moreover, we also have manual water pump to support this campaign. We also have strong efforts in preventing air pollution in and within the vicinity of the school. Signages and posters are posted inside and outside of the school to remind our stakeholders of our campaign against air pollution. As such, we ban the entry of smoke belching vehicles and burning of waste. Idling vehicles inside the campus are also prohibited together with a no-smoking policy that is implemented nationwide. With all of these programs and campaigns, we still did not stop from promoting and communicating with our dearest stakeholders about the environmental policies of the school. Hence, with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and Department of Agriculture, the Barangay Council, Several trainings and seminars have been conducted in the school for our students and parents. Ma uh, ang mauna sa ating tahanan ang pagkakaroon po ng disiplina. Sabi sa ating mga pinakatahanan nating mga o yung mga mga estudyante. Kung nabanggit po po na dapat magsimula ang kaliniso sa kila po mga ay kayo po mga estudyante na dapat kaakibat ng mga guro sa kaliniso at kaliniso ng inyong eskwelahan. Ito these efforts, the school have won second place in the 2018 Best School Implementer on Solid Waste Management. Waste management ng Okinawa School minimize our waste. Kung uh, papel, kailangan recyclable natin yan. Ha? Para mayroong uh, IGP yung mga bata income generating project. And then second, talk to the uh, sidewalk vendor outside in our school. Uh, bawal silang gumamit ng mga plastic. So, kailangan inform natin sila. Ganon din yung uh, canteen manager natin. So, kailangan i-avoid niya yung paggamit ng mga plastic. And uh, follow the proper certification in our classroom. Not only did we stop in our school, we also extended our campaign in our community. Barangay Central and Mabilog, where we conducted information drive and lecture seminar on waste management and greening programs. We have a lot of waste, plastic waste, and we have a lot of waste to recycle the waste. We have a lot of waste to recycle the waste. We have a lot of waste to recycle the waste. We have a lot of waste to recycle the waste. tungkol po sa paglilinis ng ating community. Mayroon, mayroon. Kasi po yung mga 
nagawa niyo po natin yung programa. Katulad ng mga pan, halimbawa, before pasukan, meron yung paglilinis na yan. So lahat na yan, may member kami kasi dito mga purpose, mga mothers, mga BSW, sama-sama na yan. At yung mga community, paglilinis na yan. Yan, program naman ng uh, school. Together with our students, parents, community, people, and local government units, we can of course achieve the things that we want so that we can sustain an eco-friendly environment. With all the efforts that we want to achieve, well, we cannot do this if we do it by ourselves, alone by ourselves. We can do this by making sure that it is actually a shared responsibility by all among us and uh, well, when we benefit from this, then we are trying to put prestige and honor to our alma mater that is the Central Asukara of Tarlac High School. And uh, well, we do not like to be recognized only for this purpose, but we want to be recognized because we love our environment. And since because of our love for our environment, then we protect also our students. We protect our learners. And with that, well, we are achieving our goal as one of the mission, one of the missions of the Department of Education that is to protect and promote the right of every individual for that kind of education that is child and eco-friendly.